Hey, it's your boy Easy, and on today's episode of Easy Opens, we're going to be taking a look at the San Diego Comic Con 2017 NECA exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1987 animated series box set Foot Soldiers action figures. So let's go ahead and get these figures free from their plastic prison, take a look, and see what we think about the Foot Soldiers. Alright, so here we have the Foot Soldiers fresh out the box with all of their accessories. Now, if you're not familiar, these foot soldiers are based on their appearance in the 1987 animated series, as well as their appearance in the Archie Adventures comic series. And that is most notable by their um, mummy style head and features, which uh, if you're not familiar again, that was a thing apparently in the 87 series especially on the card back of the uh, the original Playmates action figure of these figures, where it mentions that the Foot Soldiers are Shredder's right-hand mummy or something like that. I think that there are some other uh, mentions of the mummy-type Foot Soldier in uh, some other media, but I don't recall at the top of my head. I want to say that it might have something to do with trying to find a way to circumvent the whole violence thing that was... Uh, all the parents were up in arms about where uh, the turtles were using blunt and sharp weapons against these characters so by maybe making them uh, already dead characters or dead mummies or whatever you want to call it that it could maybe like get around that but uh, eventually they went with robots and you know remember the classic line did you say clang but regardless these figures are definitely taken from the 87 animated series as well as the Archie comics series now these figures also come with a bunch of accessories. Now, this set, in addition to coming with a second foot soldier, which is fantastic, and NECA, that was genius. Each of these figures have uh, interchangeable hands. You can change the hands on the foot soldiers with Shredder's hands as well. Uh, but we're only going to talk about the regular non-blade um, gauntlet hands, which are the foot soldiers' hands. They come with 12 pairs of interchangeable hands. They come with four closed fists, four open hands, and four grip hands by which they can hold not only Shredder's weapons, but their own weapons, which include two different rifles. Now, one of the rifles has um, a cone on the end of it, so it could be like a sonic disruptor or some sort of like uh, you know, sound wave kind of gun, or it could also be like a spreader from Contra, like who knows. Um, but it looks fantastic. It's got a ton of detail, a ton of rivets, a ton of like cartridges, and the grips look really cool. And there's just a bunch of detail put into this gun, and it looks really good. Now, the other gun looks more like a laser rifle that you would hold with both hands, and got a scope on it and it's got all these other like you know just different details on the handle and on the uh the um the ammo part of the gun i forget what that's called and uh yeah just just everything about this gun is so like overdone and it, 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 it in the best way and again it also has the orange tip on the end of it so you know it's not a uh, a real laser rifle and uh yeah it looks really good and it looks even better when both of the foot soldiers are holding these guns with both hands. So that's the accessories. Now moving on to the figures themselves, they stand just shy of seven inches, which is about on par with how tall Shredder is. And you might think that they won't fit in with your other figures, but I think they look pretty good, especially with the turtles. So let's go ahead and take a look at how they measure up to some other figures you might have on your six inch or 1 12th action figure shelves. Okay, so here they are with the NECA Mirage version of the Foot Soldiers that we got last year at San Diego Comic-Con. Here they are with the rest of the NECA baddies from this set, as well as the Playmates Classics Bebop and Rocksteady figures. Here they are with the Masters of the Universe Classics He-Man figure and Marvel Selects Rhino figure. Here they are with Storm Collectibles Scorpion, and SH Figuarts Ryu. Here they are with Bandai Legacy Mighty Morphin Power Rangers White Ranger figure and DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series Batman figure. 
Now here they are with the SH Figuarts version of the 1987 animated series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. And here they are with the rest of the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from this set. Alright, so let's take a look at the sculpt and the paint on these figures. Now, both of these figures are identical, and I'm not entirely sure if they are, as far as the body is concerned, the same body we got with the arcade set of the villains last year, because I don't have that set. But I do know that for the most part, they share the arms and the legs and feet of Shredder. Everything else is a different from uh, Shredder. These guys have more of a loose fitting shirt and a wrap around their uh, their waist as opposed to a somewhat belt that Shredder has. Uh, and the detail on these things are fantastic. They look so good. Most of the figure is purple with uh, the, the clothes uh, on the feet, the chest, the waist, and uh, the arms being black. And uh, the leggings and the, I guess the hood over his head and shoulders being purple. It, it looks great. Now this figure again does have the duotone uh, coloring on the purple parts at least, where you have the darker purple on the back half and the lighter purple on the front half. And I think it looks fine with these figures, especially these figures. I think most people's um, problems were with that painting style on the turtles, but on the bad guys, I haven't had any problems with that style at all. The arms look great. They've got a, uh, they've got like a, uh, an arm guard that it has some detail in it which is really cool but for the most part these figures are pretty basic but a lot of the detail is coming from the the, the clothing and the wrinkles in the clothing uh, and how it like fits over the figure and it looks great like it, it just makes the figure look in motion and, and, and alive in a weird way because the figure is either a, a robot or be a mummy but nevertheless, it looks like it's got some sort of life in it, and that's really cool. Now, the my favorite part of this figure, though, is the head sculpt. Now, I'll talk about the articulation in the head uh, here in a minute, but that is a huge asset to this figure, uh, just being able to make it look up. It's so cool, because when you do, the light catches his eyes more, and his eyes are like a vibrant yellow, and it just looks so good. Now, the figure also has the, the right foot emblem on his forehead that's painted in red and the the sculpting on the head is really cool because it's got like this um like I don't know it, it almost looks like he has a vampire snout if that makes any sense like like if uh, Morbius or there's some other uh, fictional vampires as opposed to real vampires uh <laughs> uh that has like more of a vampiric like the actual uh bat type snout I guess it looks like that's what's underneath the hood and for some reason I'm thinking that that's another thing they talk about in the series but I could be making that up regardless this sculpt head sculpt is great they knocked it out of the park with this figure on all fronts uh, paint and sculpt so I've got no complaints about this figure whatsoever so now let's take a look at the articulation that you're gonna get on this figure all right, let's take a look at the articulation you're gonna get out of this foot soldier action figure. So his head is on a ball joint, so you're gonna get 360 rotation at the neck. Um, he does uh, have another joint that enables him to look left and right, or I should say left and right. Uh, he can look up this far, and he can look down. Well, not really that far. Uh, more like he's just looking straight on. Um, Moving on to the arms, uh, the arms can raise this far, they can go up this far as well, but uh, the shoulder is a 360 joint, so you can get full range of motion out of the arm. Uh, he does have 360 bicep uh, joint right there, and uh, his elbows are double jointed as well, so uh, that's really nice. And uh, you do get 360 rotation at the wrist as well because all the wrists are, or hands are um, interchangeable and they all have some articulation on them. This one is a uh, front to back and um, I know the turtles had uh, up and down. I don't believe any of the uh, foot soldiers hands have them uh, just from looking at them real quick but uh, nevertheless you still get some uh, front to back movement there in the wrist. Uh, moving on to the legs he can kick up pretty high 
Uh, let's see, get it to focus. There you go. Uh, he can kick up pretty high. Uh, he can kick forward a real good distance and back um, not as far because his uh, his shirt or skirt or whatever you want to call it is uh, impeding it just a little bit. But um, he does have double jointed knees and he does have uh, an ankle pivot and uh, that's really cool. And you get 360 rotation at the ankle as well. He also has a toe um, uh, articulation point and that's cool. Um, he also has a thigh swivel uh, as well at the, uh, the crotch right there. See that? Yeah. And so there's the legs, and um, yeah, he just has a waist uh, swivel. That's all you get um, as far as torso articulation, which I haven't noticed when I was uh, posing them for shots and stuff that I, I missed any uh, ab crunch in this particular figure. But um, I don't know that your mileage may vary with that. But I had I didn't have a problem with it. But yeah, um, really. In fact, that's this is the first time I noticed that. Yeah, you don't get one on the foot soldiers. So. Yeah, all you get is this uh, this uh, <laughs> swivel cut at the waist. And uh, yeah, that's it for all the articulation you're going to get out of the foot soldier action figure from NECA. Okay, so final thoughts on the 87 foot soldiers. I think these are the best foot soldiers we've ever gotten. They just look so good. The paint is perfect. The articulation is damn near flawless it's it's got everything you need the only thing it doesn't have is uh, an ab crunch but I don't find that to be that big of a problem with these figures I'm still able to get them in all the poses that I want to get them in and it doesn't usually a an ab crunch will um, offset the sculpt in some way especially if uh, the character is wearing clothing uh, sometimes that can look odd and so I think that Opting to go with the, the, the solid uh, chest piece as opposed to having an ab crunch there was a good call on NECA's part. But yeah, so that's not really a nitpick for me on this. I love these figures. They look so good. And as opposed to the, uh, the original Playmates version, which were all hunched over and they looked cool like aesthetically but like they weren't very at least I remember them not being as fun as I wanted them to be and these figures make up for that immensely they pose really well they they just look so cool and like their elongated features especially in the arms which are a little weird um they it, it's it's I don't know just something about it is just really rad and I'm kind of again fanboying out like I did on Shredder here with these foot soldiers. Now the cool thing about these are that you could probably get these on the secondary market fairly easily because a lot of people would really only want the Ninja Turtles and then they could sell off the rest and if that's the case uh, you find that I highly recommend getting these figures because that's what I'm gonna do. Actually I should probably deter you from doing that so that I can there can be more for me. I am definitely looking into picking up some more of these figures and army building them because they look so good and I have so much fun playing with them. Uh, it's it's kind of taken me aback a little bit because I wasn't expecting to like them and enjoy them as much as I have as opposed to some other figures in this set. But here we are. And again, NECA knocked it out of the park with this entire set. They did a fantastic job. And I hope that they continue to release these figures based on the 87 animated series uh, more and more. And I will buy every single one of them because they are so good. And if you don't have any of them, I highly recommend picking these figures up because these are some of the best Turtles figures. Not only foot soldiers, but Turtles figures that you will find. All right, well, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. And if you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button while you're at it. And if for some weird reason you want to hear more from me, uh, go ahead and check in the description below for links to my other podcast where I actually have a show with a friend of mine where we talk about the Ninja Turtles every other week called Turtle Soup. And then I also have a show with a friend of mine where we talk about a different record every other week as well called Daydream Nation. So please check those out and also be sure to check back here for more opening goodness right here on Easy Opens. Else time.